everyone. Welcome on into another edition of This Crazy Kitchen. I'm Tara Tesher. This is Lisa Lasort. Yes. Hey, we look alike, don't we? A little bit. A little bit. I mean, we hear that every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Come on, Sissy. Anyway, we, Sissy. <laughs> we were talking about what would be a fun recipe, a, a kind of a hack, yes. right? So mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, always that staple side yum, dish, yum, right? Yum. At kind of any meal, right? Oh, wait, Whether hold it's on. holiday or every day. Butter or sour cream on mashed potatoes? What do you Both. mean? Both. What, what do you mean? How about Both. Uh, onion rings? Onion rings, yes. Why I digress. Not? Sorry, I, I was. I, had I mean, that whole mashed potatoes just turned into a hamburger with onions, <laughs> and I don't know what was happening. Yum. But here's the best part. All right, so let's get started because this is going to be something that I think will become a tradition for you guys. Okay. Um, from here on out, so yeah. you're going to take your what? It's a big knife. Here, here. we go. Be what careful. Do you mean? Be careful. Well, um, excuse me. We need to stop and get the kindergarten knife. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. With that? The, the training wheels. There, are there training wheels for this knife? Maybe. Um, well. But look at this. It's the right tool in the kitchen, Lee. So yes, therefore, it is. I'm able to go ahead and cube these. <laughs> so you would, of course, prepare your um, potatoes the normal way that you would. These are actually just peeled, and I did have them soaking in a little water so they didn't discolor. I see that. Just to get them started. Your, it calls for four pounds of potatoes, but you know, because we're doing this recipe. We maybe have a Do little less. Do you notice like how many potatoes you have to actually get for four pounds? Uh, yes. It's a lot. It's like spinach. Spinach is like it one of those like, things. You buy the biggest bag in the world and then you make it and it's like wah wah. It's Where so is true. it? Where is it? We it's can, not there. Hold on, what's stinging? I don't hold know. On, hold you, on. I'm sorry. When someone's at the door. I'm right back. <laughs> yeah, your ride's here. Uh -huh. Time to go, Lise. Is it over here? Yes, it's probably the potatoes that are ready to go. What does she do? Hmm. We don't have enough time for this. It's still dinging. Nobody help her. Nobody help her. Thank you for joining this episode of This Crazy Kitchen, where Lisa learns how to use the oven. Yes. I think you got it. I think you got it, friend. I mean, it stopped. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Perfect. <laughs> And we're back to dinging. Hold on. So in right conclusion, back. as we wrap up this recipe, <laughs> all right, so all kidding aside, while well, Lisa figures that out, um, I have my potatoes cut up in here. UPS is here. Uh, I got 25 bucks. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add my two and a half cups of half and half. Oh. Because why wouldn't you? I love this is the low fat version that we're doing. Of I love course. This. What do you mean? <laughs> Absolutely. And then here's what's super fun about adding feta to it. So Yum. think about when you typically make your mashed potatoes. Yeah. You're getting out your your stand mixer. You're mixing. You're adding. This is all done in one dish, which is what we love from Temptations. And our 13 by 9 baker is kind of that everyday baker that so many of you love. Absolutely. So you're gonna go ahead and layer that feta cheese. So you just right get a block, you just place it yes. on top. That, like you can't make, can't do it wrong. Yes, you okay. cannot do it wrong. I am going so, to like, do a little, tell? no, I got it. Sure. I am gonna do a little salt. I mean, I might. I mean, you might have Do you a need a raincoat? Here, come here for a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, got good, it. Good, great. Mm -hmm. Just a little potato. It was just <laughs> it's just a little. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Right? I, I mean, mean, come on. You eat Where'd my tin go? foil go? Oh. I'm gonna take my tin foil. <laughs> And I'm gonna put it on top of my baker. What's going on? Oh my gosh, I forgot my butter. Uh, you? Hold, okay, everybody just has to stop I and a moment of silence. And you know what else Tara I forgot? Tara forgot the butter. Hold on. Uh, I need to put on my gloves, <laughs> my surgical gloves. Dr. Tesher, paging Dr. Tesher. Um, when handling butter, um, I highly recommend that you use no. these gloves. Uh, yes. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Hey, um, Dr. Tesher? Yes. <laughs> what? What's happening? I just need to understand. First of all, mm -hmm. um, are these gloves available on the Temptations <laughs> line? <laughs> um, we're working on it, okay? okay. I've been asked many oh, a time. Could Paul we, Fetty? Could we, Paul yes. Fetty? Could we come out with some of the patterns? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, we're working on that. So I am slicing <laughs> up, of course, butter, because yeah. everything's better with butter, uh -huh. right? It's, well, Name me one true. thing that butter has ever hurt. Nothing. Margarine. No, well, margarine's <laughs> not even butter. I don't even understand that. I don't either. We did never, you have that growing mm, up? I was going to say, we never you had did that. It? No. It came in that like little plastic thing. Yes. Like with the lid, and it was super that little yellow. Plastic thing. I'm pretty sure it's called a container. A tub. A tub. Mm -hmm. It was like a tub. Mm -hmm. And margarine, when I was growing up, was like yellow, 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 yes. yellow. Yes. Like safety yellow. Yeah, totally. Yes, mm -hmm. like neon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Either way, it's delicious. It's, okay. <laughs> All of it is delicious. We have a saying in our family that everything's better with butter, uh, and everything is a vehicle for butter. So, mm -hmm. gloves, a vehicle mm. for butter. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Salt and pepper. Do you need your gloves Potatoes. For that too? Feta. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you see this tinfoil? You need to protect your hands. 
All right, so you are gonna literally just put that tin foil right on top of here. Okay. And then we are going to put it in the oven. Yeah. For oh, over an hour. Really? And then, oh, oh, yeah, I need my other gloves, but hold on, I'll be back. I, I, I'll come back for uh, a You sure? I'm yeah. gonna take care of the knives yes. and the pumpkin baker, and I'm gonna take care of the wine and the wine glasses, and um, let me move this knife out of your way. What do you mean? I'm gonna need that. Next time we're having the kindergarten knife. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. With the training wheels. <laughs> now I'm gonna put on my awesome gloves. These are fantastic. Okay. These have silicone on the front and the back, no right hand, no left hand, and they make it super easy when you wanna go in and out of the oven. So now through the magic, of this, we are going to come out with these potatoes and finish them. You know what? I always think it's funny when you say you go in and out. Like, are you literally getting in the oven? Yes. And you're coming back out yes. of the oven? I am only five feet tall. Okay. And therefore, you climb yes, in? I can okay. climb in and I can <laughs> do that. All right. So here's the what? best part. Right. Right? Oh. So whether you cube, whether you slice, you can do the potatoes however you like. We melted that feta. It smells delicious. You can see the butter bubbling yeah, all the way around the edges. And now... Okay. We're gonna mash. Okay. And this is hot. So I'll I would probably recommend you moving back a little bit. Or I now have potatoes. Don't on try my this jeans. at home. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little steamy in here. What's happening? Wait, I need a facial. At least your skin has never looked so good. Get a little closer. I got a feta facial. A it's feta. the latest. A feta mashed potato facial. I love it. All right, so you're gonna look at this. You're gonna wanna make sure that the potatoes are nice and soft. Yeah. Got a jumper. Get everybody back in the pool. And then you're just going to mash it all up. I love this for Thanksgiving, by the way. I love it truly for every holiday yeah. because oh, mashed yeah. potatoes is always one of those things. It takes up a lot of time yes. that you don't necessarily have. You're whipping, you're Yeah, because a lot of times you're, you're pulling out like your stand mixer. Yes. Just, like stand mixers are great. I, I'm not anti-stand mixer. No. I just, this is you just love your a stand mixer. I actually adore mine. Yes. But this is really an easier way. Right? Mashed potatoes can really feel like overwhelming yes, to me. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so I mashed them all up. Now we're going to add... Because why wouldn't you? What? Sour cream. The best. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's add the sour cream. Uh-huh. Yes. When you ask me butter or sour cream, both. Yeah, totally. I mean, is that a trick question? No. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. What are your favorite sides uh, for Thanksgiving? Uh, stuffing, stuffing, and stuffing. Oh. I mm -hmm. love uh, any yes. carb. Give me a carb. <laughs> and I'm... So you're going to love this, I, is what you're ultimately absolutely. saying. And I love feta. And I think, you know, so many people really enjoy feta now. It wasn't a big thing, like when I was growing up to have feta cheese. 1900 years ago, is yes, that what you mean? 1900 years Four ago. Four score and seven years ago? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, just kidding. Yes, when we took the horse to the grocery <laughs> store and we like put it on the horse. Was it called thing? a grocery yeah. store or was it called like the what Mercantile Inn? Uh, I don't know. That's from my days of watching little, little House on the Prairie. Isn't that like supermarket? Is that what we called it growing up? Supermarket? What's this we? Oh. You're you're uh, my much older sister. I am. Um, she True actually story. says that I'm her much older sister, mm -hmm. so either way, you know. Mom will tell. <laughs> Mom will never tell. She'll never tell. She'll never then tell. she'll have to tell. Wait, All right, so look at that. that. So I made the mashed potatoes nice okay. and smooth. And then what you're going to want to do is tuck it back in the oven for okay. about another 10 minutes. Kind of let that all... Get it hot cut, again. Get it hot again. Yeah. Incorporate everything all in. And then we're going to top it. And then we're going to eat it. We are? So I'm going to skip that 10-minute step. Unless, you know, you just want to sit here and hear from us for do, 10 minutes. Do, so do, do. what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> But how easy is this so easy. to do mashed potatoes? I have a question. Yes. Just because I'm always trying to make things in advance, like especially for a holiday sure. meal, right? Sure, sure, sure. Can do you think I can make this? The I day actually before, prefer. The night I actually okay. prefer that you do. You know, it's funny. There's a lot of things that when you make them the day before, they incorporate all those flavors. Yes. And then when you put them in the oven, like woo, it just comes to life. So this is actually perfect. One of those things. Yeah, you mm -hmm. could actually probably make it a week in advance, freeze it. Let it thaw the day of, and then of course go ahead and heat it up. I mean, if you if you have that many people, which if you know Lisa's family, she has a lot of people. It's a lot of people. They're, so like yeah. when you're cooking for a crowd, it's one of those stressors. Potatoes yeah. are hard, yeah. very honestly, right? True story. This is an easy way to get a potato. And on your potatoes table. get cold so quickly. They so it's do. one of those things. W what I love about making them in here is that the 13 by 9 is going to keep them nice, nice and, and hot, hot yeah. like throughout the whole meal, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. And now you have four quarts if you're making it in here. So we use four pounds of potatoes. We put the half and half in here, we put the butter in here, we put a brick of feta, put it in the oven, let it bake mm -hmm. until those potatoes are nice and soft, mash it up, fold, fold in, we're going to fold, fold it, in. it in, we're going to fold it in, we fold it in the sour cream, then when you take it out for that very last time, right before you're going to serve it, you're going to just go ahead and top it with your scallions or green onions. Yum. I mean. Plus it makes it colorful. Colorful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I already incorporated the salt and pepper, but I will tell you, I will probably hit the top of it just for 
some <laughs> color. That is very important that at the end, that's critical. That's okay. what makes it work. Absolutely, that's what makes it work. So a little more salt and pepper. Okay. And then my friend, we have a beautiful mashed potato bake that we've incorporated for our feta cheese. Would you like some? Starving. <laughs> I, lo I saw that. I said, wow, she really looks like She's she hungry. could use a huge spoonful. Yeah. <laughs> easily comes out of there and look at that that's what I love so you have and I don't like super whipped potatoes yeah so I like the fact that when you hand mash them you have like some lumps I, like, by the way yeah. I, hate, I used to hate lumps in my mashed potatoes and my mom was like you are a nightmare I'd be like they're lumpy that went over well did you mm. guys have those parents I got something? Hot. oh is it hot like lava <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> you might want to blow on it if it comes right out of the oven at 350 degrees look we've lost Lisa now for the rest of this okay <laughs> She's got stalactites on the roof of her mouth. She's literally burnt off all the skin. Uh -huh. It's good. I won't taste any food for I was going to say, did you taste it at all? Did you taste it at all or it's, it's just actually, a searing burn? I'm not kidding. It's delicious. It's really good. It's it's amazing. And what a fun, and what a, it's like a new tradition that you can start. A new tradition, a simple hack, an yeah. easy way to make those mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. And now you have four quarts of it. And I love, instead of throwing it in a bowl, I love almost serving it casserole style mm -hmm. in these pieces. Of course, you could do it in a pumpkin baker. You, yeah. can, you can make it and bake it in anything that you want to or transfer it into something. The beauty of Cooking with Temptations is that I literally can prep it all in here, cook it in here, serve it from here. Oh, if I have leftovers, snap the storage cover on here and I can put it back in the fridge or the freezer for next time. But I loved your idea of making this ahead. Uh -huh. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. De-stress a little bit, right? De-stress. Really delicious. Do you want to try a little bit? Mm -hmm. I mean, these are really good. Coming over. These will be your new, new, new tradition. Mm -hmm. So uh, thank you guys for joining us for another episode of This Crazy Kitchen where we're giving you a mashed potato hack, right? Absolutely. Tune in next time where we create more chaos. We'll have hand mixers and stand mixers <laughs> and knives and gloves and, you know, you never know what to expect when That's you tune sure. in here. But you'll have fun and you'll eat well and you'll have great recipes. Yeah, All right? Exactly. So till next time, see ya. Bye, everyone.